Welcome to the introduction to the history of medicine. I'm Jacob Moses, and I'll be your primary instructor for the course. I'd like to take a moment to go over some of the main goals of the course with you. As the term progresses, we will be discussing some of the key themes and approaches within the history of medicine, the history of healing, and the history of public health. This course is a bit different from some of our others, which take a chronological approach to developments within the history of medicine. Instead, in this term, we will take on particular themes, ideas, and concepts and deal with them on a lecture-by-lecture -lecture basis. The goal is to offer you a sense of the many different ways historians have approached primary and secondary sources. When I talk about primary sources, I'm referring to original sources from the past. These might be published journal articles or original manuscripts, photographs, diaries, newspapers, or even radio and film. Secondary sources are texts written about history by scholars using primary sources. We'll look at how historians evaluate primary sources and use them to build arguments and evidence, and in turn, how they use knowledge created by their peers in combination with primary evidence. In other words, this course will give you the nuts and bolts for thinking about how to analyze and write about history. It will provide you with the means for thinking about history as a way of knowing, a way of asking questions, about how we know what we know, and how we remember the past. We'll also be introducing you to key themes in the history of medicine and healing and public health. We'll be looking at histories of the body, pain, disease, therapeutics, and research in human experimentation, among other topics. By the time you're done, you'll be able to address these key themes yourself, understand them, and evaluate historical approaches to writing about them. Our weekly assignments, discussions, and lectures will help you to see that there are many different ways of doing history, that historians all have different styles of delivering their arguments and information, different ways of evaluating and using sources, different sorts of goals for their arguments, and often very different interpretations of the same events. Ultimately, we want you to be able to judge the value of multiple analytical frameworks. You'll find that approaches from social history, cultural history, intellectual history, gender history, and other approaches all have something to offer. Ask yourself as we go along, is one approach more valuable than another? What does each reveal about why change happened in the past? I'd like to take a moment to go over some of the assignments in this course. First and foremost, it is pass-fail. Our expectation is that you will participate in all of the varied discussion forums set up for the course, whether a live talk discussion or voice threads that you will compose with your fellow classmates. You need to participate in order to pass. Now, I know that many of you have not taken a history class in quite some time, much less a history of medicine class. So I'll provide you with a set of resources on Course Plus in order to make your experience enjoyable and rewarding. Hopefully, you'll find these resources both useful for our weekly discussions and throughout your work as a historian. I will be continuing to build the tools on Course Plus, and your feedback will be an important part of doing so. So when there's a term or a concept that you're unclear about, I encourage you to let me know, and we will address it together. All questions and queries are valid and valuable. And I very much look forward to having you contact me with questions that come up throughout the term. You can always contact me by email through Course Plus or my email address, which is included in the syllabus. And you can also post general questions on the discussion board in the course. I look forward to having you with us in this course and to exploring some of the most important themes and topics within the history of medicine with you. Mm -hmm.